now where the view should be good. Jim, here at Dinner Key, we should have a spectacular sight of the launch in about three hours, a sight unequaled since the nighttime launch of Apollo many, many years ago. We here in Florida are the lucky ones. If the skies remain clear or clear up just a little bit, we should have about a two-minute view of the shuttle as it takes off at about 2.15 this morning. Well, experts say we're here at Dinner Key because the experts say that being near water is the best place to be to view the shuttle or really any area with an unobstructed view. Well, if you really want to get a good place to view the launch, you're going to have to have what I'd call a clear, clear horizon. No buildings on the horizon, no clouds on the horizon. A water horizon is best. The space shuttle will get only about 15 degrees above the horizon. Look towards the north and uh, northeast, and you should see something shortly after 2.15 in the morning. Well, what Mr. Hor uh, Horkheimer is talking about, we won't exactly see the shuttle going directly up in the air. You'll have to look to the north, northeast, and just a small portion of the horizon because the Cape is about 250 miles away. And because of the curvature of the Earth, you'll only see it in a small portion of the horizon before it disappears. So really, any area, as the experts say, near the water, even your backyard or the rooftop, any area with an unobstructed view. And a of course, if you want to view the shuttle launch from the comforts of your own home, Channel 4 and CBS's coverage live of the nighttime launch of the shuttle begins at 2 a.m. this morning on Nightwatch. Reporting live from Dinner Key, David Goldstein, Channel 4 News.